Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to delete or hide your purchase app uh, history. Um, anyways, this is whether you have uh, iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch, same thing. We're going to go into iTunes, and this works the same way for Windows or Mac. Okay, so once you're on iTunes, just uh, sign into your iCloud ID. Okay, so your Apple ID, just sign into it up here on Store. Um, once you're there, just go into iTunes Store, which is your last option up here. So just click there. Once that loads, just go down here where it says music, click right here on the arrow, and you're gonna go into App Store. Now there's a lot of ways to get here, so you have to do it everything my way, as long as you get to your App Store. And once you're in App Store, again, just go to Purchase. Again, there's other ways of getting here, as long as you get to this page. Now on this page, you're gonna see your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. You, you're gonna see all your apps that you downloaded and the ones that you want to hide, you will see them here too. So, in this case, we're gonna click on iPad and we are gonna hide this app right here. So, what you guys are gonna see, before on the old iTunes, you would see an X right here where the hand is. However, now it's hidden, but you can still click here. As you can see, your mouse, Okay, your cursor will turn to a hand where you can actually click there. So I'm gonna click there. Once I click there, I might see a message. Right now I didn't see it, it just deleted the app. But uh, you guys might see a message that will tell you do you want to hide this app. So you're gonna click OK and that's it. Um, for others, it will just disappear like it did for me. So right now it just deleted. Um, and if you want that app back, now I'm gonna go over this again. Now, what you guys just did to an app, which is just click on the side of it and you hit it, right? So I'm gonna do that for this one. I'm gonna click on the side where there's nothing. Once it refreshes, it's hidden. It's no longer here, so you cannot see it under your purchase history. Now, if you guys want to get that back, all you have to do is go up here, iTunes, open up store, going to view account, Okay, it's gonna ask you for your password. Um, it's gonna ask you for your password just once, so don't worry about it. Then just click on view account. Under view account, you're gonna see one of the last options. It says manage your hitting apps. So right here, it says iTunes in iCloud. And you're gonna see the second option says hidden purchases. So from here, okay, right here, you can just go click on manage so where the blue thing is manage just click there and there you're gonna see all your hidden stuff you can hide music movies anything we're gonna click on apps which is up here and we're gonna see that app here's the app that we just hit and the one beside it so all you have to do is click on unhide unhide and it's gonna go back now remember any app that you just hit from your purchase app history it's not gonna refresh right away so whether you go on your iPad or iPhone or iPod touch you will see them still okay they usually take around 30 minutes at most I've heard some people taking two hours but that's just weird uh, that's usually just the um, internet uh, thing where it's really slow and it doesn't refresh and update your iTunes history so that's why it doesn't do that fast but usually at most it will take 30 minutes to refresh and then you will see it hidden on all your devices okay uh, same thing when you unhide them it'll take a little bit um, usually in hiding it's a little bit more immediate but uh, hiding them does take a little bit for your devices to update anyways that's it for this tutorial if you guys have any questions comments you can write them below and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you